Hey guys, Naderbeek is here today for the second time. Hi there. Hello. Hello everyone. Well, my congratulations to you. You got 8.5. Yeah, thank you a lot. Uh, just like me, but I got it when I was 29 and you got it at the um, age of 20, right? 20, yeah. I got it on the fifth attempt, you got it on the second. Yeah, but it's all thanks to you. <laughs> but can you just imagine what you can achieve when you reach my age? Um, that, that's, that's really hard um, to imagine, but um, I hope I'll achieve something even more outstanding. I hope. You imagine, because when you imagine, it all comes true. I know it from my personal experience, so I wish you to achieve much more than me. I'll definitely visualize. Now, let's talk about IELTS. That's why I've invited you here today. Yeah. Let's talk about some common questions that people ask me. Well, many people think that to get 8.5, they need to practice as much as possible. Mm -hmm. And, well, let's listen to your opinion. How many listening and reading practice tests people should work with when they, if they want to take the IELTS test? Well, um, first of all, yeah, they have to do a lot of work, but not delivered IELTS practice. I don't think that it, it helps them a lot. Uh, and in terms of listening and reading, I can say that doing um, one listening and one reading a day is more than enough, actually. In my case, I did um, either one listening or reading in a day, not, not more than that. Uh, but I think uh, if a person has plenty of time, why not to do while listening and reading? Yeah, but uh, it requires some a lot. Of, it requires some work, like but not deliberate. I'll practice. They may do some, I don't know, vocabulary improvement. Yeah, watching films in English, like you know, um, creating English atmosphere. This is hard. And they can improve vocabulary after reading practice or Definitely. after listening practice. Definitely. <clears throat> the thing is, people don't usually analyze mistakes. Yeah. What do you think about analysis? Uh, analysis is the most important thing, I guess. Uh, I always tell, I used to tell my students that this is the most important thing. You know, when they do practice tests, they just find out about their level. Like they may do a practice test, let's say they get Surrey correct answers, okay. They go to they do another test, but again they get Surrey or maybe Surrey 1, yeah, but no improvement. Why? Because they don't improve their, they don't make any improvements. They don't like um, work on their mistakes, they don't analyze questions, and that's the problem. Therefore, I think um, if they, if a person wants to improve something, they have to analyze. That's very important. And find that mistake they keep making over and over again. Definitely. You know what? Before you came here, you were 17. Yes. As far as I remember. Um, some of your friends told me about your math skills. And I told you that time that I loved math. I still love math. I had students who were great at this subject and they succeeded in IELTS, just like you mm -hmm. and me. Well, there must be some correlation between math and English languages. What do you think about it? I think there is a correlation. Um, well, I thought about this question before, and I came to uh, a conclusion that you know, mass um, helps people to become more creative. It fosters some creativity um, in a way that you know, when they, when a person does some again uh, mass problems, when they try to solve, uh, it doesn't always. Mm, it's not always successful and they have to try out something new like not only one approach to a, to a problem But they have to maybe uh, try it from different perspective from different angles. Yep, and when they do something uh, when, when they do this thing actually they subconsciously improve their creativity Which really comes in handy in IELTS preparation as well when they write when they do writing or when they do reading Especially I think this is really helpful Yeah, I recall at, uh, at high school our math teacher gave us an equation and gave us three ways how to solve it. So we just selected the most appropriate one, but all of them were good. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, none of them, uh, not all of them were good universally. So we had to select the best approach. So now it's all about flexibility as well. Yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. Well, let's speak about another question. Well, some students uh, asked me what to do one day before the main test. Mm -hmm. They think again the last day is the most responsible and they shouldn't sleep, they should <laughs> keep practicing non-stop. Mm -hmm. uh, they are right to some extent, again this is the most important day of course, like one day before the main test, uh, of course it's important, but I don't think that they should do like practice tests, they have to like, I don't think they should push themselves. Um, personally I think that it is the day when they can relax, you know, before the day I'm sure that they do some work, they prepare for the test, and on the last day I guess 
they should have some relaxation. Just forget about tests because otherwise, if they keep doing practice tests, like without sleeping yet, especially, they become apprehensive, they become very nervous, worried about the test, and as a result, they may not perform on that high level actual they can yet, not on their, um, uh, what, not on their level actually. So I think that on the last day, um, uh, one should let themselves have some rest. Yeah, I remember one day before my test, I watched YouTube videos in English, but still I didn't practice much. I watched uh, TV series on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> you see, well, I guess we should stop here. Uh, I have a lot of questions, but let me keep them for the third interview. Who knows? Maybe one day you will come with overall band 9. Maybe. We'll see. And I won't be surprised because you deserve it. Ah, uh, I'm flattered. Thank you. Congrats one more time. Thank, Thank you. you for coming. Thank you too. Thank you for the invitation. Always welcome. Goodbye. Goodbye, guys. <laughs>